harder over the previous two games. So it'll be interesting to see how that gels. But against the USA, they put in such a expert performance in the rain. Really gave the USA absolutely no chance to get going. Pinned them deep with the kickoffs. And then with their defense and attack, they were so, so clinical. And it was a pleasure to watch. Samoa defeating the USA 26-19 and Chile as well. The same results for New Zealand. And you mentioned that win against the United States, 36 points to 15. And that's how they end up here. Paulo Duarte from Portugal, 150th game. What a game to officiate as well. Here at the HSBC Los Angeles 7. Skill order to our New Zealand fans and our Mana Samoan fans. Well, brilliant to have your company as well. Talofaloba. The NFL Hall of Fame inductee Troy Polamalu and his wife hosted the Samoan team for dinner this past week. And this team in turn presented his family a Samoan Sevens jersey as well. Here is one of the stars of the show. Aquila Rokalasoa, HSBC Dream Team, as voted by the fans Dubai, Cape Town, Hamilton and Sydney. He is here, ready to rock Hollywood. As New Zealand kick off from left to right to Mana Samoa in blue to receive. Wet conditions, but straight with a pick up and racing away. What a breakout here from Scanlon. Paul Scanlon flicks it in superbly over the top, it goes. He went in late. Vai, he's just there on the side. Scanlon yet again, he drops this one though after that breakout. What a start. Wow, what an explosive start. The New Zealand kick chase was flying up, but left a hole right in the middle of their defense. Scanlon didn't need a second invitation, puts his head down. I think he's hoping he can go around Rocco Lassoa, but Rocco Lassoa is so, so quick and difficult to get it by. These flick offloads from Samoa in this rainy conditions, very, very impressive. They're able to hold on to that. I wonder if that's playing the nine there. Not sure New Zealand might have got away with one, but they will have the ball and the opportunity to get on the attack. Narohi Mugabe Black waits on the left. You can see New Zealand Samoa so for the two top sides in this pool. Across they shift it to the live wire. That is Rodlock Solo. Quick ball back on the inside. Mugabe Black. Big contact. I'm on Naki Nicole is there. Rockola Soa. There's a looping ball. To the debutant looking to bust free here. Finia, Nana awful with possession. Across again, Nicole. New Zealand. Oh, Spencer hit. Oh, that is a stomping, crunching tackle. Samoa take possession back. Oppetai. And now here it comes. Maliko. Able to get up to himself. Some massive shots already early on. In this pool clash, Samoa, wait on the left-hand side. Palaniko steps one, goes into another. Spencer has it. Opatai wants possession on the left, but they get the penalty to Samoa. And a quick tap it is, looping around. Leitufia, kick over the top from Tuitama. Just picked up in that far corner. Third manage. Great bit of work. Oh no, it's been pinched. Thrown in the field no of play. Advantage. No, we'll come back here. Yeah, no advantage. Flag no. is up. Crowd on their feet. Yeah. No advantage. I'm not sure. Do you, know, do you know why it was called back down there? It looked like they were about to score. It seems a bit of an advantage, but maybe playing on the floor or something like that. So Samoa committing an infraction, but I think they thought they were in. So here, the, looks like it was knocked on on the ground there by New Zealand in trying to regather. Samoa able to get the ball. Looks like they might, might have been in for a try, but the referee deeming that there was an infraction there, and that's why the game was called back. But Samoa will have to put into this scrum five metres from the New Zealand line. The winner will face Argentina in the Cup quarterfinals. Great Britain awaits the runner-up in this game. Samoa, crack it straight up the middle. Penalty as well, offside is the call. Mana Samoa knocking on the door. Samoa having success with really direct straight lines at a slight angle, uh, and that's getting in between gaps in the New Zealand defenders. Slightly like slow that. with their supporting attacker there, and that was what allowed New Zealand to get on the ball, but they committed an infraction in doing so. Vafoy Falaniko, HSBC Dream Team in Cape Town, flicks it back on the inside, searching for the line. Tanu, New Levaya. Held up. Held up. Yep. 
Oh, great last def ditch defense from New Zealand. He's smiling. Look at look at the size of him. Difficult to hold up when he gets that close to the line, but New Zealand flooding defenders into it, doing a really good job of using their whole body. Looks like it's very close to the line. Will be another five meter scrum for Samoa, and they'll have the opportunity to try once again to get over the line. Coach, New Zealand on the defensive side for the last few minutes. Sit. Samoa, who have been outstanding the last two years, loop around the side, looking to fly in there with Paul Scanlon. He had the early break in the game and now gets the first score for Manu Samoa. Samoa bringing such pace and directness to their attack, and it's putting New Zealand on the front foot. We saw in both of their previous games earlier today, New Zealand were bringing a lot of line speed off the line, and they were using their defense to attack the other team, if that makes sense. Samoa are not allowing to do that by getting the ball and really driving forward, and New Zealand having to scramble sideways, and that's putting them on the back foot. And once you're in the back foot defensively, it's really hard to recover and get yourself going forward. So Samoa doing a fantastic job of using that pace, using their directness and physicality to put New Zealand under pressure. Paul Scanlon has been phenomenal for Samoa for these two countries 58 wins for New Zealand in the head-to-head -head. 19 only for Samoa do you felt the tide turn in the last couple of years Samoa one gold in Cape Town against New Zealand beating them 12 points to seven Nicole comes up to challenge for NZ but it comes to Opatite some more New Elevira is in there as well. Possession will be the turned over. First, unplayable. You join. join. There it is. I feel like New Zealand haven't touched the ball in about five minutes. So here they go. Here's their opportunity. A minute and a half left in this half. Now they'll have the chance to get the ball to some of their strike runners in some space and try and build some momentum of their own. And for all Samoa's brilliance and injection and positivity in this half, they're only one try up. So New Zealand still very much in there. Still tons of the game left. And yeah, we're, I think we're in for some collisions coming up now. There's a light ticky saw on the left as things stand. Samoa would top the pool. Rockalasoa goes over our referee and Mugabe Black finds Spencer in midfield. Got a chance to meet his father who was coaching a Nola Gold here in the United States a couple seasons ago. And now looking to bash up field yet again. Good work there from Finiana Mopo. 20 year old on debut, 105 kilograms. But there's space. Back in field. Looking to dance for his Peyton Spencer. But they read him quickly. New release. New release. Lewis Orman. A quick tap for New Zealand. Goes straight up the middle. Got to flick it alive. He does. Solo is there. And now that's Rocco Lasso with that characteristic outside gap. Ball very messy though. Comes away for Samoa. Thrown back in the field to play again. His late fear. Now following up. Falaniko decides to put the kick downfield. Three Samoan chasers, one in a black jersey for New Zealand. And it's Peyton Spencer, the youngster. Finds himself isolated. And just a knock on that does creep in there. That will bring the halftime whistle in this very exciting pool A clash. And it's Samoa that lead by slender 7 0 against New Zealand. Sunday, February 26th, the UFC is back with a clash of hard-hitting light heavyweights hoping to fall himself into title contention. Nikita Krylov will look to use his impressive skills to secure his 27th career stoppage and turn back the dangerous power of Ryan Superman Span, seeking his third consecutive finish. No way! Cold-blooded! Let's go! You do not want to miss UFC Fight Night. Nikita Krylov versus Ryan Spann on the 26th of February. Live on Supersport, your world of champions, only on DSTV. Catch every moment of the action in the UEFA Europa League on Supersport. Crisped at 160 degrees. Finished off in our famous turkey sauce. That's what makes spur wings fly.
Set of Angels welcomes you back here to the HSBC Los Angeles Sevens. Coming up, Kenya against Japan, 17 minutes. And then Fiji v Australia in 40 minutes time. Expect the roar of the crowd for our Fijian fans as well. Same for our Kenyan ones too. This match though, far from done. Samoa lead 7-0 against New Zealand in this pool clash. The winner of course will face Argentina. Lose it and you'll face Great Britain. Yeah, tough test either way, and GB actually have really impressed today. On the season, you'd probably say Argentina might have been the standard test, but so far today, GB have done a fantastic job, and for either of these teams, they know that's going to be a tough test, but both of these teams looking very, very strong. That's the voice of Madison Hughes, former U.S. Eagle Sevens captain, not retired yet. I'm Dallas Stanford, and welcome wherever you are taking in this glorious game of Sevens. Seven points in it so Seven, far. Five. New Zealand will take the line out. New Zealand content to let that one roll out. Um, I think ba bouncing ball at your feet can be difficult to deal with, but the line out offers Samoa, Samoa the opportunity to attack and put New Zealand under a lot of pressure. So New Zealand needs to take this cleanly and they need to start have, maintaining some possession and putting the Samoan defense under pressure. Live ticket as it stands, Samoa will lead this pool, but still have plenty of time left. Rockola Soa feeds it back on the inside. Spencer steps off his left, slides to the ground. As the 18 year old debuted in Sydney in 2023. One of four players, just 18 years of age. Samoa have possession here. This is where they're very dangerous. Ball to the left hand side. Looking for a step. Later Fear does well initially. The ball spills forward. More advantage this time for New Zealand. Flying into that far side is Amanaki Nicole. And now the men in black with Spencer come across. Haven't seen a lot yet. On the wing from Roderick Solo, they shut him down. And Spencer, too, working hard in tandem. Aquila Rockola, so the 27 year old, pulls it away. Ormond now has a bit of space. He flicks it alive to Mugabe Black, is where it can be very dangerous. And Fini Ananofo gets it away. It's been pinched by Samoa. Two sides that match up so well in this glorious game. Oh, almost man and ball. Fala Nico leaves it behind. Nicole putting his body on the line for New Zealand. Now Spencer has it. Space on the right hand side, they can shift it. Narohi Mugabe Black wants to wind one over the top. Finds Nicole on the outside. Big, solid hit yet again. Solo puts that one down. You okay? Oh, wow, what a passage of play. Okay? There were bodies strewn all over the field. Samoans behind the play, and I think that's why they weren't able to capitalize when they did get the ball in space. But New Zealand look a little bemused there. I mean, they had the opportunity, they had numbers, but I think a lot of these bodies have been a really tough, long day, both mentally and physically in these conditions. And yeah, both these teams starting to look a little tired, and I think we're seeing some players coming off the bench and it'll be on those subs can they inject some pace can they do something to tip the balance and win this one for their team minus sub uh, brilliantly coached by brian lima actually known as a chiropractor still okay. samoa's most capped player with 65 tests in 15s world rugby hall of famer crouch so he is Samoa, fourth in Hong Kong, and then a gold in Cape Town, and Six. then fifth in Sydney. Those are their better performances. Possession now for New Early Letufia. Drifts across, he'll get a little loop and a planned move. Nice ball. Flying into the contact is Malani Matabao. He's got the red headgear on. Samoa recycled with the big frame of Vafasu Afasua. Backwards, big clean backwards. out. On. Rockola so wanted to get involved, held back just for an instance. Maliko puts the kick in. Vaipelo Maliko, number two, okay. on number two. Oh, what a take from Maliko. Spinning around, who's on the Put ground him. when he played it. Yeah, I think called for not releasing that. He slid in. The ball somehow ended up in his arms in yeah, competition with the New Zealand covering defence. It looked initially like he had the, the beat on him, but New Zealand's cover defense did a fantastic job. I mean, 
Yeah, what a, what a passage of play. He's in it on their feet, not able to play it, so they get the penalty, as you said, and here comes Abenaki Nicole. Another strong run from the big forward. Off it. Tap. Quick tap. Mugabe Black in open space for New Zealand. Bench players on the field as well. One of them is Brady Rush. And here's Moses Leo. HSBC player of the final here in LA when he scored that winning try as they took the tournament in August. Rokolasoa reloads. Good with you from New Zealand. Orman now. Spot space up the middle. There's Lewis Orman. Big hit on Mugabe Black. And left behind. Here comes. Oh, pension is still. Vapella Maliko down the touchline. Maliko. Big hit on Rush. Rush comes out again. Maliko lays it back. Manu Samoa. Support runners are there with advantage. Numbers on the left. Great ball, Falaniko. Cuts back in, Falaniko! For Manusam Mala. The small step, the tie goes down. The bad there is second against New Zealand. Wow, what a passage of play. Both these teams putting on a spectacle of sevens rugby. Fantastic scramble defense to make Samoa work this. It came through the turnover. Samoa defense standing strong. And then you think he's away. The try line beckons. He actually has two supporting runners on his inside. Not able to find them. And for a second, you think New Zealand might get the turnover. The whole defensive line almost gets back. Samoa able to recycle, move the ball out wide, and get the try that could end up being crucial to stretch it with 12 points with the conversion to come. Makes it 14 points to nil, and the conversion could be crucial. There's a minute 45 left. New Zealand can score twice in that time, and a draw makes the ball very interesting. So, wow, this really has been summing both these teams giving absolutely everything, knowing how important every moment can be. Subs? And these collisions, wow. Well, Samoa have not beaten New Zealand on American soil since the cup final of Las Vegas in 2012. Are you ready? It has been a long time, time coming really... for this Samoan side. Come on. Reminds one of the great team that were serious champions in 2009, 2010. Gives a chance here for New Zealand though, we just have a minute to play. And New Zealand have got to go quickly here, they need to score twice in this minute, so need to score, really need to score in the next 30 seconds in order to give themselves that second opportunity. Narohi Mugabe Black, NZ Sevens player of the year in 2020, gets it away. Lero Carter's on the field to spark some magic. They try to drift on the outside with Brady Rush. Man, has played sevens here in the U.S. domestically for the Premier Rugby Sevens as well. Across come New Zealand. Mugabe Black now. Collier. Big bump from Collier at his 50th International Sevens event. Carter now. Time running out for New Zealand. Carter trying to get the fin, but he's driven back from Afasua. Collier to the right. Finds Moses Leo. He's got some speed as Leo. Unlocking Rush on the outside. Brady Rush will score. No, he flows it back on the inside because the conversion is vital. And Leroy Carter gets their five and a quick kick to come. A quick crucial kick though. He can't afford to miss it. Needs to look at the clock, see exactly how much time he has to take it. And then Good New way. Zealand will Good have way. to take this kick off. But they have a chance. And Samoa, their defense has been yes. furious all game. Can they find it in themselves to get one more turnover? They can take this kick off. New Zealand have to go and try and win it because if this ball goes out, Samoa will win the match. Well, just a draw up for grabs. 14 points to seven for New Zealand. Oh, they've left the point. Samoa take it out. It's a famous day for Samoan rugby. They defeat New Zealand on American soil for the first time since 2012. It means so much for this group that have worked so hard. They win 14-7 against New Zealand. A brilliant game. A brilliant moment and we can go pitch out and get some reactions straight away with Ricky Swanell. Thanks, Dylan. I've got Paul Eti Slater with me. Salo Falava. Congratulations. Uh, well, the shades of the Cape Town final in this weather, but what do you make of Samoa's efforts today? It's been an experience today. We never 
you know, so many delays, but no, it just helps to get the win. How does such a, I guess, a smallish group of Samoans in the crowd make so much noise? I guess it's just their, their pride and their passion for the country. Yeah. And a quarterfinal tomorrow against uh, Argentina. Where do you want to improve from here? Uh, yeah, no, big game tomorrow. But we're just going to focus on ourselves and, yeah, just go back to the hotel and regroup and, and see how we go tomorrow. Yeah. Good stuff. Get dry, get warm. Thanks very much. Thank you very much. Stay